on the Crypto Factor. It's another impromptu live. It's been a while since I did this, but hey, had a lot of running around, had a lot of issues I had to take care of. Maybe we'll talk about it. But anyway, it's great to be back. It's great to be back with you. And just wanted to talk about the crypto markets, what's going on in the crypto markets. As you can see, 30K seems to have been the bottom that we called. And we're just going up, baby. We're just going up higher. And that is really cool, man. I'm really happy for everybody here that did what that took that 30k bottom and bought bitcoin that took the 30k bot bottom and bought ethereum bought xrp whatever they bought doesn't really matter really happy you did unless you bought safe moon which would be stupid but anyway i'm really glad hey how are you i see rene from montenegro here how are you doing rene yes we are live on an impromptu live stream and i see phrase haha yo brother are looking good thank you very much really appreciate you so let's talk a little bit about cryptocurrency what the markets are doing we're on obviously we're on my phone right now it's kind of hard holding this phone up we'll see how we're gonna do this but yeah I'll be answering your questions in the chat as I usually do and so on but it seems that 30k was the bottom and we called it we called 30k the bottom and we also called the best performing coins coins like Cardano coins like that that, that just you know are just skyrocketing because Cardano was and still is going to be one of the best performing cryptocurrencies of 2021 one of the best cryptocurrencies performing but let's talk about cardano real quick let's talk about this because even though cardano is going to be one of the best performing cryptocurrencies of 2021 it does not mean it's going to be the best performing asset of cardano and let me explain what i mean because i know that sounds contradictive in a way but here is um what i mean Cardano is releasing their smart contracts, right? Which is probably why it's going up so, so heavily. But you have to understand that projects that are going to be launched on their smart contracts are going to outperform Cardano. They're going to outperform pretty much almost anything, right? Why? Because just like on Ethereum, you have Uniswap, you have, uh, which is a trading, decentralized trading platform. You have Link, which is... Um, uh, basically an oracle and so on well what about the like these tokens on the cardano chain that's where the money is that's where the profits are be, to be made so coins like cards coins like occ or c3 which is Tar charlie 3 these cryptocurrencies are gonna outperform almost everything so you need to check that out so if you want to do well in cardano which if you listen to these videos you would have gone into cardano when i told you many many times especially the xrp army i remember changing my xrp to card and everyone's like oh my god you're gonna lose everything you can be poor have fun being poor yeah okay great um if you go into cardano you're really happy right now but just know that if everything goes as planned if this bull market continues and cardano cardano keeps on going up the coins or cryptocurrencies under cardano will just will just they're gonna explode they're gonna explode. So, of course, this is not financial advice. I might be wrong and everything could go to zero and you could be poor. But so far, I think I predicted the top, the bottom, and everything is gonna happen uh, so far. Um, call it luck, call it experience, call it a little bit of both. But yeah, let's see what happens. By the way, cheers, I'm drinking Suroti, sparkling water. And we're gonna talk about Bitcoin, we're gonna talk about Ethereum, we're gonna talk about a few other things, but, um, let me check the chat a little bit, see your questions, see if I can answer, answer any of your questions. We're drinking coffee today at Flo Cafe in uh, Athens, Greece, or the Father Greece, actually. Uh, been away for a while, man. My, I had my dad in hospital. I took him to a private hospital. Now he's in a rehabilitation center. And then I went to hospital twice, believe it or not, because I had some issues. Uh, but I'm okay now. I'm out and about and we should have these videos up daily again and we should be doing these impromptu live streams and of course tomorrow seven o'clock EEST time our main live stream uh, which will be tomorrow so let's have a, look, a, a few look at these uh, questions here then we can talk about other things sorry I'm poking you but um, it, it, this is like a phone so I have to poke you to see the questions what do you think about Cardano price before smart contract do, do, will go up? Yeah, I think Cardano is going to reach $7 to $10 this year. Listen, I have not changed my prediction since the start of this bull, since 2021, the beginning, since the end of 2020. I, anything I've said back then about what coin is going to go up, what coin is going to perform, which coins are not going to perform, 
go back to my earlier videos. I haven't changed anything. I'm not changing anything because when I, I made my analysis, it was based on long term. It wasn't this short term bullshit. Of course, I didn't get Shibu Inu because that wasn't long term. And I told you guys it wasn't long term or some other coins as well um, or Safe Moon and stuff like that. Even though we got into Safe Moon, we got out of 2.5x and I told you it's going to go down. But in general, and I don't like these shit coins anyway, we're talking about real projects in this channel. But generally, I'm not changing any of my pred predictions. If you go to my five best top coins of the year video, uh, go to my uh, most performing assets this year video and so on, if you look back, I have not changed a thing that I've talked about, and this is a new project. Not, I'm not like these other YouTubers where every week they do new changes and give new predictions and pump new coins. I, I don't do that crap on this channel, right? This channel is, you know, it's as real as it can get. All right, so Cardano will perform well. What up, brother? What's up, Jack? Yakub? What's up, Razi Keto? Hello, Paul. Okay, Omar. Thank you, man. Really appreciate Mr. Nikwila and, and sorry, Angelique. Bitcoin needs a correction before the 50K region. Ah, listen, Bitcoin does not need to do anything. Bitcoin is Bitcoin. Now, at the 50K, if you watched my last videos, let me just say hi to everyone. Thorstead, everyone's saying hi, hi, how you doing? This is great. Um, Bitcoin doesn't need to do anything. We call the Bitcoin 30K bottom. We said if it passes 40K or to 42K, it's going to go up to 50K. It might reject from 50K and go down a little bit, yes, before it goes up again. Now, if it rejects, goes up, rejects again, goes up and it can't break 50K, then yes, we'll go down lower. Does it need to have a re rejection? Not necessarily. But um, obviously, it's going to be strong resistance at 50K. It might drop down to the 45k-ish area again and then go up for another chance. Am I live right now? I'm not even, I think I think it's still live right now. So I guess we um, it got cut off earlier on and um, not sure if we're still live or not, but uh, basically I think we are. So uh, where was I? What was I saying? I think I was saying about Bitcoin. Yeah, if we break 50k, I don't see much resistance to all-time highs after that. Like we should be going up to all-time highs and retesting them. Uh, probably reject there a little bit, then probably have another run up for it if we're bullish. This is all. Um, this all makes sense if we continue the bull cycle, which I think we will. I'm pretty bullish. If we continue the bull cycle, then yes, everything will be. Uh, well, it, 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 it'll go well. Now, there is a chance, and I'm not saying this is going to happen, that we go down from here. There is a chance that this was a big dead cat bounce and we go down and uh, the bull market is over and we get into a bear, bear market. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't believe that. But we always have to have probabilities. We always have to talk, um, you know, we have to keep an open mind so we can be able to know about what's going to happen. Does that make sense? Anyway, let's see if we have any more chats here. Hey, Paul, your advice on XRP long term? Uh, XRP, I already gave my advice for that. I think accumulation over time is okay, but I think there's other coins that are going to work better. I think there's other cryptocurrencies that are going to do better. VeChain is sleeping. Of course it is. ADA will flip Ethereum. We don't know that. We'll see. In profits, I think ADA will do better. Polygon versus Cardano. You just, it's apples versus oranges. You can't really say that phase. I mean... Uh, you mean profit-wise? You mean um, technically? Do you mean wh what way do you th wh what way do you mean? Uh, it's good to have both, I guess. Is it alt season? Alt season will happen. It's not alt season yet, but it will get there. How much do you reckon Ethereum will be by the end of the year? About seven to ten thousand dollars was my estimate in the beginning of this year with a possible peak around 20k and that's if we have a major bull run um that's my still my same my still my same call uh i'm selling at 8,000 to 10,000, some of them and the rest i'm keeping till about 17 to 20,000. see what happens if we get there if we get there mo says bro i missed you where have you been i was in the hospital man my dad was in the hospital i was in the hospital we were all, we were all in the hospital so uh, it was a bit of an issue, man. Uh, I couldn't do much. So let's talk a little bit about the worst 
coins in cryptocurrencies what are the worst coins you can be in right now in crypto okay and i'm not talking profit wise i'm not talking that you can't make money on these coins but the worst coins you can be in crypto right now is safe crap coins meaning safe moon safe galaxy million token all this bull crap meme tokens they are all crap why not because of profits you can still make profits you can still make money in these but they're keeping your head your mindset away from cryptocurrency away from DeFi, away from what matters that you could be learning about that will open up scenarios open up um, paths open up your mind not just to profits but also to be able to work in the industry take advantage of the industry and and basically it's like it's like gambling and and, and it's me instead of you know getting into DeFi, getting into what the essence is that you can you know either get a job in at some point or be able to like learn what it is and be ahead of the cur cur herd does that make sense so that's why you don't want to be in these coins these are the worst coins you need to be in right now the best coins you can be in right now is top 10 coins and and DeFi and lower lower trained coins that have use cases and purposes for these uh, larger coins if that makes sense like the, uh, the the projects under cardano for example right or solutions like oracles stuff like that but it's not just buying them and holding them it's buying them and learning about them so you can open your mind and learn what the future is so this will benefit you in the future does that make sense let's see if we have any questions here hassan says where are you from i'm from greece man I, well i'm in greece i was born in london so yeah that's where i'm from but yeah that's that's basically what i wanted to talk about sorry about the the uh, delay in the video the, the breakup something happened with my phone but yeah we get tomorrow seven o'clock eest time we're gonna get we're gonna go we're gonna go live we're gonna talk all about this we're gonna answer questions we're gonna do some crazy stuff tomorrow sunday seven o'clock eest time i'll see you live subscribe so you don't miss that and i'll see you then take care bye bye